Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Rod and Staff Union from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well. Today, I want to talk to you about several things and about how these things are feeling these days. So this topic is to remind you that this is about love. You're here to be in love, plain and simple. You're here to be in love. And the love is also love at the cosmic level. It's cosmic love. So for many of you, this is the divine masculine at the 5D aspect. That is the old paradigm aspect. That's going to be old timelines, ancient ways, ancient patterns, ancestral things. That's still going to keep coming out. It might not be identifiable at this human level as to what everything is. But the problem is, is you just need it out anyway. I'm here to help you get it out. For the Divine Feminine, this translates at your physical aspect, which includes your human body. This includes the human body and parts of you deep inside. Now, a lot of people like to talk about energies, and I do too, because that's how it feels. However, love is the energy. Now you have to move it. You either have to get it deep inside or you have to push things out. How do you do that? I help people move it. I help you move, move patterns, release the past. That is what I do. I do it from a level that I have actually set myself up at. And I'm intending to help a lot of people get to those levels. That is what you are here for. Your twin flame connections is how you do that. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about this. If I were to show you something, okay, we'll just use this as an example. You have this. This is sort of like uh, representing a scaffold, okay? This is going to represent a scaffold. And you have, of course, physical level. Okay, you're not at this level anymore. You got a physical level. And here's your 5D. And you're saying, well, you know, I'm having a relationship through 5D. You're, there's some floors and ceilings here. You're not intended to have a relationship. You are reunifying yourself through these areas. You're in, this is where you are intended to be. Okay, you are naturally a fifth dimensional being. You're down here clearing up a lot of the past. Why? Because you're doing it right down to the micro parts of you. But this is your normal. And I know a lot of you aren't feeling normal these days. There's a reason for it. This energy is bringing things out of people that is a bit more subtle. And as you can imagine, subtle means your subtle bodies. But there is sometimes a stubborn refusal to let go. This could be letting go of people. It could be letting go of a group. It's mostly going to be letting go of your own ways, your own emotional patterns. This is a highly emotional energy. The things that have happened at 5D based upon old emotions and what has happened, what has hurt and harmed. This is also having to do with a lot of spiteful energy. This is spiteful energy. It's sniping, it's gossipy, it's wondering, it can be mildly judgmental, but it's spiteful. It's a way of getting back at people where nobody can really pinpoint it. It might also be cutting off the nose to spite the face, a little bit of self-sabotage. And there are gray areas with this. This is where nobody can really define, is it right? Is it wrong? Is it, is if it feels morally wrong, it's wrong. White lies. These are similar to lies of omission. Now, this is a little bit different. This is energy of what they don't know won't hurt them. Or I've just said something that I know might be deliberately deceiving or pointing someone in another direction because I'm feeling spiteful today. That's just not going to fly and it won't be held anymore or supported because your body also has infrastructure, okay? Your body has these levels inside you. Is your heart going to support this? 
is your mind going to support it? And some of the ways you know is if you have a lot of, I would say the word um, weird love energies, energies around your hip area, hip, lower gut, tailbone, thighs, or is it around your head? Do you have head buzzing? Are you seeing things? Are you hearing things? Are you um, seeing that things are maybe, you're not quite sure, okay? It's not really dark. It's just something you're not quite sure if you should believe it or not, okay? This energy will also be female against female energy. Not like a cat fight, not, not physical violence. This is snipey energy. This is the stuff that's mildly poisonous, poisonous to someone's career, poisonous to someone's livelihood or business. These are sometimes those energies where someone's having a bad day and they leave a bad review for a restaurant. Why? Never realizing that that restaurant has an owner who's trying to put their kids through school. You know, this is that kind of spite. We're just going, we're, we're not feeling okay and we're going to take it out on people. We haven't killed people. We haven't turned them out, but we're still going to be spiteful. Male to males tend to be a lot more competitive, rivalrous, dominant, and it's a, sometimes a little bit clearer. This is sometimes what comes out. And even though I'm saying feminine, I don't just mean females. This is, this, although it can be seen in female to female. Okay, a lot of this, so we're talking about emotions. This love is emotional. What we've loved has made us emotional. What we care about makes us emotional. A lot of this can lead to exhaustion, mental exhaustion, emotional exhaustion, and those equal physical exhaustion. Are you feeling depleted, wiped out? Are you wondering how are you going to push through and keep yourself going? This is where I come in. This is what I teach. I teach you about divine masculine, divine feminine. I teach you about the body. I teach you about your internal infrastructure and what to do to get chakras, meridians, and your gates open. You don't need to learn ancient languages to do that, although I know the words for it. You just need to be loved. There's one word you need to know, love. Okay. There is also an inner, un, you know, an underlying tone of, uh, are some people pessimistic about the future? You're not sure how it looks. You're not sure. Are, is this just the way it's supposed to end? You can feel the endings coming. Okay. It's no different than if someone said, hey, we're going to close all the casinos. You'd have a bunch of people that'd be like, wait. I got to go gamble. I want to play blackjack and I want to play roulette. I want to, I, I never experienced that. I want to do it. And someone would say, hurry up because we're closing the casinos. Gambling, you're not going to gamble with your life. You're not going to gamble with your love. You're not going to gamble with your money and take unnecessary risks. Get it out of your system. And someone goes, oh my God, oh my God, I, I can feel it. I, I, I got to get it out of my system. Okay. And you see there's differences with people. So if you're feeling pessimistic about the future, what are you doing? What actions are you taking? Some of those actions should include what do you say no to? If you need help navigating that, come have a session with me because I help you with that. It's very different from the cards because I help you do it through your own body so that you have the confidence. This is your life. It's your twin flame union. So you can have, and here comes, here comes three. We have, we have Ken. He's very sensitive. He tends to wear his heart on his sleeve and the back of his heart is wide open. He's always like that. He doesn't know why he's so empathetic and why, why does he feel like, you know, just raw, just raw. Okay. First of all, his skin is inside out. Okay. He's a bit inside out here. He's not really tucked in properly, okay? He's got his whole back open, open for backstabbing and spiteful energy, okay? Then you have Brad. Brad thinks he's got it all going on, okay? And Brad wants to turn his back on this and say, you know what? 
Um, I'm looking at my watch here and um, there's still some things I've got to try. And so I'm going to, I'm going to just go try them. Okay. Then you have Michael and Michael, well, you know what? He's fully armored. So you have the opposite here. He's got full body armor. Okay. He is frequently someone else's rescuer. He's on the front lines and he's tired of it all. In fact, he's exhausted. He's physically exhausted. This armor weighs a lot. He is tired of other people's crap. Okay. But he'll keep doing it because that's what he needs to do. That's you know, sort of what he feels. But when does he ever get to take a break? When does he get to be in love? Okay. When, when does this guy get to feel so tired of loving everyone and have his own love? When? Okay. This is some of that time right now. This is what you're gearing up for. And the same thing can be applied to females. Okay. Are you highly empathic? I help you get out of that mode of feeling highly empathic because why? Because that was for this level of living way down here. Yeah, I can feel it. You want to feel everyone from down there when you're here? Oh, heck no. No way. So what else about this energy? Well, I'm going to tell you a few things. And these words might annoy people because... What's happened on Mars isn't staying on here on Earth. Mars and Venus are not, you know, two separate planets. Mars and Venus are taking the best of the best. So let me throw out a word to you. Dowager. Does anyone know what that means? That means actually, and usually an elder woman, but someone who is a widow, a wealthy widow. Okay. And what if you're not wealthy? Maybe you're a spinster. Okay, a lot of these words annoy people. An unmarried woman, this is what makes people pessimistic about their future. Are you going to continue to go on and be an unmarried woman? An unmarried woman without a relationship, maybe you're going to just have a few animals and pets and live out the rest of your days quietly. And some of you are saying, oh, hell no, I want to be in a relationship. And some of you are getting relationships. But who are you in relationship to? Because a relationship is relating to the outward. What you'll find is that your body isn't supporting those relationships in the same way as it might have four years ago. Okay. We started closing the door in 2012. Then 2014, that's when the gates started allowing you to bring yourself in. Now you're concluding it. So if you're delving into, and I'm going to say this, some people don't know, but some people willfully know when it is not their person. Now, it's one thing to say, I really don't want to be with my person because they're a hot mess. Okay, what do you do about a hot mess? You use love. How do you use the love? The twin flame connections is how. Love is the energy to move those things that you find undesirable, to move your twin towards you and away from other things. So if your solution for it is to be spiteful, that really won't cut it, okay? You might, you might feel like it cuts it for a while or I don't understand. Believe me, I understand. If people have been through abuse situations, you might need someone to treat you nice. But if it's still not your person, it will end at some point. And not only that, your body will slough this out. Okay, it will actually slough that other person's energy out. And why? Because you're intended to be at an elevated level of living. Okay, you're not intended to live down here anymore. You're intended to live here and begin to go here. Because this is the gate for those that cosmic love. Now, some people might say, you know what? I don't care. Okay, if you don't care, that's fine. I guess we will see later. <laughs> but a lot sooner than you may think. Later is not going to be 20 or 30 years. This is why these things are coming up and out of people. If there is a stubborn refusal to let go, to let go of a person, 
your body takes over and you'll do it like you're being dragged behind a truck sometimes. That's sometimes how it feels. You're getting pulled behind your twin flames pickup truck and you don't like it one little bit. It's a little more subtle than that. Your mind might try to answer you if you hear head buzzing and you say, I can hear that they're talking or I can hear that they're arguing or something. Come and find out what that's about. Get some of the answers so you can get it shifted. Okay, get the factual information. This is twin flame specific and there are two of you. That is one of the key differences between when people go to other people and I found this to be true also even with other professionals. You sometimes need medicine, but the medical community can't account for you having a twin flame that affects you. You may need to do some acupuncture, but that community won't be able to account for why this spot when they want to put it here. You know, they want to put the needles here or the cup, do the cupping here. You need someone that understands twin flame body, the twin flame light body, your angelic body, okay? So if you're still trying to keep yourself here and pretending that you are, you know, a fifth dimensional being and that yet you delve down here, or worse, you're trying to then tell people that this is right, that's a stubborn refusal, okay? And this has happened in cycles also. This has happened multiple times, and it'll continue to happen. Why? Because some people's energies are actually tangled and complicated. It takes time. Some people will do this for a while to come. However, some people are coming into the part where the physical unification is the key. Now, Another thing to mention, I'm going, I want to clarify for you because words get thrown around and that's the only way we have to communicate words. We use words, we do use different languages. Union means unification of your subtle bodies. It doesn't mean living in a house together, although the paradox is, yes, you are intended to live in the same abode, the same home, the same house, the same apartment. Okay, so just because people live together doesn't necessarily mean that they're connecting these areas here. Okay, they may and they will. Okay, but what then happens? Okay, there are things that even happen with twin flames who live together. Sometimes one or the other gets sick. It gets very baffling. Sometimes they will get sick through several cycles. Sometimes their organs suddenly want the past out and they will find themselves getting procedures. Okay, so not everyone is able to do this. So that's another thing I want to let you know about. My information is intended to be preventative in its purest form to get you there and prevent things from happening that makes you get sick or ill or have to have certain things happen. My modes and methods and channel opening exercises and twin flame breath is intended for you to connect with that highest part of you, that part of you that's up here, okay? The part of you that's up here so that you can heal, and feel well and have your emotional well-being on a daily basis. So to help you with this, I have several things set up. And yes, I am going to toot my own horn because I'm very proud of my work. Why shouldn't I be? I've had a lot of success with people and I've been working with people for over 10 years. I've done my own work and I'm proud of myself. So not only am I proud of the work that I've produced, I'm proud of the results, and I'm my own best person to say about this, that I have actually gone through these transformations. I want to help people. That's the next part for some of you. Some of you have these higher connection footholds. Some of you are just getting those footholds, 
and you need your shields. That's another topic. So the topic for this week in my webinar class, I still have my Lionsgate webinar. It's going on until August 9th. You can still join. Still join. So come and join us. It's been a very lively group. It's helped a lot of people even in just one week. This week, we're clearing strings to the past. Um, we're clearing some of this 5D. I also have two live classes here in Chicago. I have one at the end of July, and I have one in August, the 10th, 11th, and 12th, and you will receive a certificate after that. I also have, in September, I have September 15th is a one-day uh, class. This offers continuing education credits. I don't know of any Twin Flame class for any professionals, so if you're a psychologist, a therapist, an acupuncturist, and you want to come and find out about Twin Flame stuff, maybe this is new to you, fairly new, come and you will get continuing education credits. Now, I also do body work. I do readings. I do several sessions to help you move your energies and to do body work for you, and I do live body work. We can start with um, just talking about it, and that's the chat part. However, um, chat can also be to help you with special situations. Are you going through job changes? Are you going through divorce? Are you struggling to know what kind of grid work or your mission? Now, mission is a word also that gets thrown around quite a bit. Mission is um, actually what is the calling of your heart. And the first part of that is reunifying yourself. So I make it a focus within your session that we focus on what parts do you unify with each other so that you can create your livelihood from that, okay? How is your love want to express itself in the world? How is your love, okay, and again, we're gonna go back to love. That's the best four letter word there is. Love, 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 love. Okay, remember this is all about the love. It's loving yourself, loving your other, being loved by your other, being loved and supported and where it reciprocates and there's no thought to it whatsoever. So I have several things and I will also recommend my Harvesting Your Love webinar, which is pre-recorded uh, for exactly this time. So we're, we're in July, we have actually the some of the first harvests and I've said this before, some of those juiciest things, the peaches, the berries, the cherries, we all love those things, okay? This is where all of the rain and so forth. Now, the water, that's when the waters become sweet, okay? Yeah, I'm using a metaphor. Yes, it's, you know, a tie-in with that natural side of you, that you are naturally sweet when the other emotions go. So if your divine feminine needs help with this, okay, if your Divine Feminine needs help with the Divine Masculine, come and join my class or have a session with me. I am at www.twinflamesmerge.com. The link is below. I'll write it right here. www.twinflames, with an S, merge. Dot com or email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail. The links are below in the description. I hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you here at my class. Uh, I offer question and answer session. I am leading you through several topics during the four week period. And a lot of it is intended to be supportive of both parts of you, divine masculine and divine feminine. If you're a man, come and find out because I have special information for men. If you are a female, there's a special information for you to need that you need to know and that you need to know for your man. If you're two females, some of the same stuff applies because these aspects of you are inside you or trying to clear themselves and get inside. So thanks so much for watching.
and have a wonderful day. I will be back with more twin flame specific information. Thank you. Bye.